You know, I always wanted to have my name in the papers before Amos. I used to date this well-to-do ugly bootlegger guy. He used to like to take me out and show me off. Ugly guys like to do that. One day it said in the papers, Ganglands, Al Capelli seen at Shea Vito with cute blonde curry. That was me. I clipped it and I saved it. You know, my whole life I wanted to have my own act. But no. No, no, no. One big world full of no, they always turn me down. And then Amos came along. Sweet, safe, famous, who never says no. You know, I've never done this before, but tonight is such a special night, and you are such a great audience. And I just feel like, I feel like I can do this, you know, I can talk to you. So forget what you've read in the papers, and forget what you've heard on the radio, because I'm going to tell you the truth. Not that the truth really matters, but... In the bed department, Amos was... Zero. I mean, when he made love to me, it was like he was like he was fixing a carburetor or something. Oh, I love ya, honey. I love ya. Anyway, I started messing around, and then I started screwing around, which is messing around without dinner. <laughs> and that's when I met Fred Casely, who told me to get me into vaudeville. But that didn't quite work out like I planned. Because it didn't really work out for him either, but I gave up on that whole vaudeville idea because you gotta figure after all these years, opportunities just pass you by. And it ain't. Oh no, 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 and it ain't. But now, if this flim guy gets me off with all of this publicity, I've got me a world full of yes! I'm a and the audience loves me. And I love them for loving me, and they love me for loving them, and we love each other. Cut. Okay.